hi guys you are welcome to the introductory part of this training um, in this particular class I'll be showing you the tools and their function the tools in Photoshop and their function so please do well and watch the video properly don't skip any of the classes to so avoid lagging behind this training will be from known to unknown so don't skip any of these classes there is no way you will be a professional graphic designer in photoshop without knowing the tools that you are going to be using in design and their function so this particular class will show you everything you need to know about the tools then after this class we'll now progress to the next step so thank you very much let's dive into my system so you can see how these tools function hi guys good day everyone you are welcome to the introductory part of this training so in this particular class i'll be teaching you the tools that we are going to be working with in photoshop so i will show you the tools and their functions and how you are going to make use of them all the tools in photoshop and their functions so before i move into photoshop i want to show you how photoshop looks like this icon here is photoshop and this one also is photoshop too so in photoshop we have different uh, versions of photoshop we have a series of photoshop we have c c series and we have c s series so now this particular one you can see here is c s series so in c s series we have uh, cs1 cs2 cs3 cs4 cs5 cs6 cs7 to the to where it ended then in cc cc is being rated according to year so we have cc 214 215 2016 2017 2018 so in graphic design i normally recommend cc i normally recommend cc i'll give you the i will give as far as you, par, you participate in my class i will give you the file of this cc 214 free of charge so you know the version of photoshop that is compatible to your system you install it to your system i have installed mine i use these two but in a different cases you understand so but the one i normally use for graphic design is this cc i'm using cc version 214 so this one is very very good and beautiful too you can get the one of higher version but this one is the one i prefer because this is the one compatible to my system i don't know for yours so you can go and check out the one that is good for you but i, I you will hardly get the version of this one from market so is it that you buy it from photoshop website or from adobe website or you can get it from me too so now let's open this photoshop and see how it looks like so i double click to open it so this is how i've already loaded it before so no need of load, loading it again so this is how photoshop looks like this is how photoshop background looks like you need to understand this background first before you can work well in it just take a look at it it's dark in color and very beautiful and simple to understand though photoshop is somehow complex because photoshop is one of the best graphic software you can ever find on it for now it's one of the best because photoshop is very very good in colors there are a lot of things that Photoshop can do in which other graphics software cannot do. There are some certain things you can do in Photoshop in which you cannot do in Corel Draw, especially color blending. Photoshop has color than um, Corel Draw. So, and even image blending too. You can blend the image very well than uh, in Photoshop than Corel Draw. So now let me show you from here now to down is called the toolbar 
So these two banners, as you can see, we have different types of tools. All this icon you can see, all of them are tools in Photoshop. You understand? All these icons you can see, all of them are tools in Photoshop. So now, all, and all of them has a different function. So each icon here, some of this icon you can see here has family. What do I mean by family? They have relative in which they are combined in one, but all of them those different function. You understand? So let's start explaining them without wasting much of our time. So here now, this um, first two here is called move to. As you can see, the name has popped out. Move to what is move to used for? Move to is used to move any any icon, any shape, any image, any write up, anything anything at all you created in Photoshop. You understand? Move tool is used to move it around. You understand? Can we use move to to position it anywhere you want? So and anytime you are moving, you are using move to make sure you you tick this auto select and show transform controls make sure you tick it good it's one of the settings of move to so make sure you tick it good i will i will show you how it functions but just make sure you tick this thing good you know because you might install new photoshop and this good will not be ticked so just tick it click on it and click on it make sure it has good then the second tool here is called It's called what rectangular marquee tool. This rectangular marquee tool is used to create rectangular shapes. When we move into designing men, 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 then I will teach you how you can use this tool to create a rectangular shape. And as you can see, this tool has families too. Look at their families here. Rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool single row marquee to then a uh, single column marquee to as you can see all of them has their different function you can use this one to create a, a circular shape this elliptical marquee to to create a circular shape you can use this one to create a rectangular shape this one is a single row shape or um single column shape or line so all of them, when we get into design email, you see how I, I use all these things to create shapes. So this one is polygonal lesser two. This polygonal lesser two, this polygonal lesser two, is used to crop image. When whenever I want to change image background, or maybe I, you want to do photo manipulation, or maybe you want to crop out image, so use it and design another thing. You use this polygonal a lesser to to crop out any image that you want to crop so and this polygonal lesser to has families too so look at the families here families of polygonal lesser to so you have lesser to you have polygonal lesser to you have a magnetic lesser to all of them has their own different function in which they perform do you understand and they perform a different function but their functions look alike that is why they are being added in one family then the fourth two here this one is called um magic one two this magic one two is used to crop image to but it is only used for image in a plain background or in a one color background use it to select the one color background and delete it so and as you can see this magic one two has families to look at uh, uh, their relatives uh, quick selection to and magic one two quick selection to is also used to change uh, to crop out picture but still on a plain background you can use it to select that plain background automatic and delete this one also will pick the color once you click on the color to pick all the colors and change it automatic i'll still show you how to make use of this magic one too then um, this one is crop two it is called crop two it's used to resize to to resize any image that you to give any uh, to give your page any size 
I want to give it any size in inches or centimeter. As you can see, you can resize this here the width and height as 3.5 inches by 2.5 uh, by 2 inches. Then you can add the resolution 300. So that is the function of this one. You use it to resize to give it to give your page a size. You understand? So then the next tool we have here is eye dropper to this eye dropper to is used in red eye correction or in drawing as you can see in, in drawing or in measurement too so this uh, tool now has its own family and look at their families here eye dropper to 3d uh, material eye dropper to we have color color sampler to we have roller to this roller is used for measurement and the shortcut for this roller is control r it is used for measurement to measure the size of your page the page you are designing on or to calibrate an object then this one is no two then and this one too all of them has their own different functions i will not be making use of all these two here because each two you see here in photoshop can can serve thousands of purpose one tool you see in Photoshop can serve thousands of people. So there are some of tools here that maybe I, will, I might be using it to do one or two things. Then another guy might come and use it and do 10 different things. So as, let's go to the next tool. Let's not waste much of our time. The Another tool we have here is patch tool. This patch tool is used to edit document or to edit um, pimple. In somebody's face when we go into a photo editing you see how this patch to work but it is used to patch damages in an image i normally use this patch to to edit documents like if somebody brings documents for me to edit for him i will charge you i'll charge you like ten thousand sometimes and use just this to and clean what you want me to clean then change it you understand with this patch and this patch to has families too you can see patch to you can see healing brush to see uh, spots healing brush to and so many of them all of, all of them has different function than they that they perform so when we move into designing full time then you see how all these tools function this is brush to this brush to has families too i normally use this brush to anytime i want to cartoon a picture or anytime I want to change the the stroke size of pen to you understand that is the work of this brush too. I use it for drawing. So as you can see, this brush too has families too. You can see brush to pencil to uh, color replacement to mixer brush too. You can see their functions here. All these things you can see here are their functions so they perform different functions too so this one is called stamp to i guess this is called a uh, clone stamp to i i use it to edit document too it serves almost the same purpose with this um patch too but in a different way i'll still show you how this clone stamp to works so the next thing i will do is to show you their families you can see the two families here so now this is history brush tool history brush tool is a tool used to reverse back what you did on an image you understand to use it to for example if i did something on a double layer now i can use history brush tool to brush it back or to wipe it off so history brush tool also has its own families too Understand. then this one is called the razor tool this is razor tool. I, I normally use it in uh, image blending you understand i normally use it in image blending if i don't want the image to or if i want to erase image i want to clean image maybe image i have on my page and i want to clean so i will use eraser tool As you can see eraser tool has three families eraser tool background eraser to then magic eraser to all of them perform similar function but in a different ways so this one 
the one I normally use is this eraser tool. I use it in color blend, and you can change the size of this eraser tool from here, and you can change the shape. These are their shapes. Pick any shape you want to use it and erase. You understand? So you choose the size, you make the hardness zero. So that is that for eraser tool. Then we have bucket pen tool. This bucket pen tool. This is a bucket pen tool. So this bucket pen tool functions the same as you know maybe you call the paint and your house to paint your house for you then you know the normal bucket that contains paint now that contains different colors of paint this 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 two now functions the same way with it it is used to pour color or to pour paint in an image or in an object or in anything you created i want to add color that is the function of this bucket paint tool notice because we are going to use it a lot when we want to create shape once you create a shape and you want to add the color you use this bucket paint tool if i pick a color from here from this down now if i pick a color from here i will use this bucket paint tool and add it to any image i want so this bucket paint tool has its family again it has grad gradient to paint bucket to 3d material you understand so this is their families let's not waste much of our time then this tool also is called blood tool. It is used to blow an image or to treat a uh, rough, uh, rough surface on an image too. And it has families. You can see their families here. I'll still show you how to make use of all of them. Then this one is called dodge tool. This dodge tool is used in photo editing. When you want to do global dodging and burning or frequency separation, this is the tool used to dodge. Or to burn. To dodge means to to hide light, and to burn means to uh, increase light. So I will show you when we go into dodge and burning, we see how these two function. Then this one is pen two. I like this two so much. This two has given me a lot of money. You understand? This is the tool I use for logo drawing. I'm not telling you my secrets. This is the tool I use for logo drawing. You understand? So for me to know how to use this tool, I've made thousands of money from this tool. Because when I there's one logo I drew that I charged forty thousand in it, and the company paid. You understand? And what I used in drawing the logo, I'll still show you the logo. What I used in drawing the logo was only this tool. I use only this tool to draw the logo. You understand? So you can draw logo and charge 10,000, you can draw logo and charge 5,000, you can draw logo and charge 3,000, you can draw logo and charge 2,000, depending on the the contact you are dealing with. You can also draw logo and charge 50,000, you can also draw logo and charge 200,000, you understand, depending on how value you added to your work. So this is type 2. This a horizontal type tool is used for typography that is to type something in image typography means the art of the art of typing so typography we use this tool to run typographies in an image in in a design sorry sorry i mean we use this tool to run typographies so as you can see it has um families horizontal type tool vertical type to horizontal type mass to vertical type mass to so this is their families and they perform similar functions to all of them perform typography function so now we have another um tool here which is called path selection tool this tool is used to select parts or to mm, Yes, to select parts in an image, as you can see, it has direct selection, it has part selection. If you want to select direct and if you want to select by part, so these two we have another two here which is called um, rounded rectangle tool. So this two now is used to create different shapes in Photoshop, different kind of shape. You can use this two to create it. You understand as you can see it has families you understand 
you have rectangle you have rounded you have elliptical two you have polygon you have line you have custom shapes you understand so you can use this tool to create different you can see different types of shape it starts here this one is for custom shapes that one is for custom shapes you understand so that is it now we have another two this one that resembles woman's hand it is used to shift it is used to shift not to move it is used to shift a page move tool is used to move images or objects in a design but this one is used to move a page so now we have zoom tool zoom tool is used to and this hand tool has family you understand so we have zoom tool zoom tool is used to zoom image to zoom in or zoom out you understand then the last but not the least is um color it is called foreground color you understand it is called this one is called foreground color normally it is black and white black and white so you now have to when you double click on it you pick any type of color you want i've added red so you double click on this white you pick let me pick blue click on blue you come at the same time pick blue it is used to pick any type of color you want to pick then add it with um paint bucket too as the case may be all these things are the tools in photoshop all these things are the tools in photoshop so as you can see we have file here we have edit here we have image here we have layer here we have type path select we have filter we have 3d we have view we have windows we have help so all these things we are going to be making use of them when we enter designing main time you understand but for now just note i want to just introduce these tools to you because that is what we'll be dealing with that is what we'll be function uh, designing with without these tools we cannot do anything so thank you guys meet you in the next class please if i give any assignment in this class please try and do it and help me and subscribe um, on my youtube channel if this video is useful to you help me and click on my subscription button ring the notification bell so at any time i drop a video or a content you'll be able to view it so thank you very much thank you very much guys meet you in the next class